Never buy crackers from the store again. This is Kevin with Living Traditions Homestead, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a great a homemade cracker recipe. Uh, this is something that we make here on the homestead quite a bit because, to be honest, we don't buy crackers in the store, and if we did, we would buy organic crackers because we try to only consume organic wheat, and organic crackers in the store are crazy priced. So I'm going to show you how to make these super simple uh, versatile homemade crackers that only take a few minutes to get ready about 10 minutes in the oven and they're ready to eat so you only need a few ingredients for this uh, we're going to use organic all-purpose flour some olive oil some salt uh, we only use the uh, pink uh, Himalayan salt uh, we order it in bulk on Amazon and then uh, a little bit of sugar. Uh, we only use non-GMO cane sugar. And that's it. So what you're gonna do uh, first is, it, is a, a cup and a half of the flour. You don't have to be too exact here. while you're getting all this ready make sure you have your oven on and heating to 450 all right so a cup and a half of flour one teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of sugar and you want to uh, whisk all of that together to make sure the salt and sugar are mixed in really well And you're going to put in two tablespoons of olive oil. And I think snacky kind of foods are probably the hardest thing to give up and the hardest thing to kind of make yourself. And just to kind of have something to snack on at the end of the day or something like that so whenever we find a good recipe like this it you know it's nice to just be able to you know make a bunch of them at a time this will make about i don't know 50 crackers or so and you can double or triple this and make as many as you want and then the last thing is just a uh, half cup of water And it's going to be kind of a, a firm dough. As you're mixing it, if it seems like you need just a little bit more water, uh, you can add like another tablespoon or so of water. Humidity outside always affects dough when you're making any kind of dough. So we we'll use just a tiny bit of water. got it pretty well mixed together then I like to switch and just use my hands 
get every little bit. together and that gives you pretty nice smooth dough you don't really want to knead it too much but you do want to make sure that it's you know good enough that you can roll it out and you need to get it to about an eighth of an inch thick Now put a little flour on your board. Beer. All right, so you can see I went a little long here, no big deal. Just take a pizza cutter, cut that piece off, and find a different place on the board here for it. I don't ever worry about what shape the crackers turn out or anything like that. So, just take your pizza cutter or a knife. I try not to make them too big because if you're snacking, they go further. If you just, you know, have a smaller cracker that you can sit there and eat. Can't get all the way to the edge. Let me take a knife. If you store these in an airtight container, they'll last pretty long. Around here, they don't ever last long enough to go stale, for sure, because we eat them too fast. All right, so once you got them all on the pan, now you can either just bake them just like this plain, or uh, what I like to do is uh, I mix a little bit of the uh, Himalayan salt and some dried oregano uh, from our garden. And you're going to uh, just kind of sprinkle a little bit of water. Just kind of wet the top of them. You can use a pastry brush. I just think this is just as easy. Just get a little bit of water on top of the crackers. And then I just take a little bit of this. sprinkle it on the top and again this is you know this is one of those recipes that if you're you know sitting around at night and all of a sudden you have an urge for a snack I mean you could whip this up in about 10 minutes get them in the oven and you know 20 minutes later you're eating crackers which is great especially if you live like we do it would take longer to go to the store to get some crackers because it's you know a 20 minute drive or more to the store so all right so there they are they're all set Looks like the oven is just about ready, but not quite. So I'm going to wait till it gets up to 450 and then I'm going to get these in the oven and they will bake for about 12 to 15 minutes. And as soon as they are done, I'll bring them out and I'll show you how they look. All right, the timer just went off. So the uh, crackers uh, should be about done. Uh, let's go check on them. Yeah, 
Yes, they look good. You can see some of them on the edges that were really, really thin. They got a little more done. That's going to happen, but in my experience, they still taste good. So what I like to do at this point is just uh, separate them all. But be careful because they're really hot. But I just feel like they cool better if they're separated at this point. And they won't take long to cool, probably about 10 minutes and they'll be completely cooled off. And then uh, go ahead and eat them or put them in a container and save them for later. But um, I just plan on eating them. So that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's a really easy way to uh, get organic crackers uh, without uh, you know spending an arm and a leg. I mean, one bag of organic wheat is like, I think this bag is like $4.15 at Walmart, and this will make a lot of crackers. And you're going to pay more than that for just one box of organic crackers in the store. So go ahead and give this a try. Get creative with what you put on top. You can put sesame seeds or any kind of herbs or just salt or whatever you want. But uh, this, this is really easy, and they turn out really good, and the kids and I love them. So does Sarah. So... I hope you guys try this out. Let us know if you do and let us know what you think of it. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And thank you guys so much for stopping by the homestead. God bless. Hey, thank you guys so much for stopping by the homestead today. We do truly appreciate every one of you for wanting to be part of our lives. Uh, we're now going to be putting out five new videos every week, Monday through Friday. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to check out the videos over here on the side. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you next time back on the homestead. God bless.